Now we've reached the stage of finding out that our box layout design doesn't work in Internet Explorer 8. And we have to use the patch that I told you about to make Internet Explorer 8 and before recognize and render properly the HTML5 elements. Internet Explorer 8 is out of date, but it's all that's available if your user is running Windows XP. Here at the nextweb.com there are statistics, up to date statistics about Internet Explorer 8 usage, and you can see it's still very significant. So we need to do this. Go back to index.html and below the links to the style sheets, make a little bit of space so that we can see what we're doing. And type in opening angle bracket, exclamation mark, two dashes. An opening angle bracket followed by an exclamation mark and two dashes is the way we normally comment outlines in HTML, meaning that we can read them, but they do nothing in the browser and they're not displayed. But Internet Explorer from version 5 onwards recognizes conditional comments which begin in this way and runs any script in between them. No other browsers recognize anything inside these comment tags, so they completely ignore it. So we can use this to run scripts which are needed only for old versions of Internet Explorer. Close that off and inside this comment, type inside square brackets if space LT, that means less than, space IE space 9, and then go down a couple of lines and close this off with angle brackets, exclamation mark, square brackets, end if. And then two more dashes and the closing angle bracket. And then everything inside those conditional comments will only be seen by Internet Explorer and then only if it's Internet Explorer versions 8 or below. So we're going to run a script HTML5 shiv from the Google Code repository. So to run it, type in opening angle bracket script, and then its source, which is src equals, and then you have to type in carefully the path to the script at googlecode.com. HTTP forward slash forward slash HTML5 shiv dot google code dot com forward slash svn forward slash trunk forward slash html5 dot js and close off that script tag Now if you go back to the index page in Internet Explorer, leaving the browser mode at Internet Explorer 8 and press refresh and we should get our box layout. And you can try switching between the various browser modes all the way back to Internet Explorer 7 and it should be fine. We're not quite done with this problem yet though because if we tried to print this we'll go to File Print Preview we'll find that the box layout is again broken. In order to deal with this, we need another similar script called HTML5 shiv print shiv. And I don't think this is available on the Google Codes in the Google Codes repository, so I've made a local copy in Working Files, Chapter 5 Styling, 0506 HTML shiv and scripts folder. Select and copy that and paste it in in a new folder inside favorite movies called scripts. So make that folder, go into it and paste in that script. Go back to index.html and inside this conditional comment put in a relative link to that. Script. Script src equals scripts then the safest way to make sure that you get the name absolutely right is to press F2, press 
Control A to select all of it. Press Control C to copy it. Go back and paste that in. Make sure there's no mistakes with the name. And now, if we're in Internet Explorer 8 or lower versions, both of those scripts will run, otherwise they'll be ignored. If we go back here, press F5 in Internet Explorer and do File, Preview, and now we've got our box layout and everything is ready to go on to the rest of the styling.